uh, talk a little bit about um, a new thing that we're doing with a loss of goal directedness. And uh, and I want to see what you have to say about one part of it, which we haven't, we haven't talked about before. Um, this has to do with, uh, so, so part of my lab is studies aging and, uh, and, and this, this question of why at some, at some point uh, the normal mechanisms that upkeep a particular pattern in the body are not, are not doing that anymore. And uh, so I preface everything I'm about to say by, by saying that the, the paper on this has not been yet peer-reviewed. This is a, a preprint that's out by... Um, um, uh, 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 Leo Pio Lopez and uh, Ben Hartle. So this is this is b- b- brand new, you know, brand new stuff. Um, standard uh, theories of aging basically fall into two categories. There are um, damage theories that basically says that over time damage accumulates. So whether it's the DNA or some something else, it just gets damaged and eventually you can't keep up. Uh, and then and then there are the programmatic theories that say that basically evolution wants the older organisms to go away. It's uh, somehow helpful to, to, to you know ruin more resources for the young. Whatever. It's uh, there, there's a there's a there's a reason for it. There's a programmatic reason for aging. So so I so I think we have a kind of a a, a a third um, alternative, which is basically, and then we have a bunch of computational work uh, uh, looking at looking at this, where the, the way we understand morphogenesis, so the creation of the body and then the upkeep of the body as single cells die and then are replaced and whatever, there's a constant kind of ship of thesis situation going on. And and what we've been studying is the idea that the tissues have an inherent uh, memory, li- literally, some some of it's bioelectrical, some of it's biochemical, maybe biomechanical, that uh, basically is responsible for maintaining a, l- a large scale shape. Cells and materials come and go, but the shape is maintained. That those those memories are goals of the cellular collective intelligence in the cybernetic sense. They're they're goal states that the system works really hard to try and uh, reduce the error against. So so they keep trying to maintain that state. So so one of the things we're seeing is that when you have a system like that, a uh, goal-directed uh, intelligence system, which is able to find different ways to get to its goal and so on, something interesting happens after it has achieved its goal. After the goal has been met, if there is no new goal and no reinforcement, external reinforcement of the old goal, things start to degrade. And it's not because there's damage. There's nothing wrong with the hardware. There's nothing wrong with the data. There's nothing wrong with the pieces. But the goal has been reached. And the cog- and 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 the system does not know what to do anymore, and it and it sort of regresses and and and, and disorder comes apart. It's a very weird uh, kind of a way of thinking about it because it suggests that it's intrinsic to being a goal directed in morphogenetic space cognitive system. It isn't caused by some outside disturbance or or DNA damage or any of that. It's a fundamental feature. So um, so so here's my crazy analogy. I want to I want to see what you make of this. Imagine uh, this the Judeo Christian version of heaven, right? So so you, so so you get there. Everything is great. There's nothing to worry about, and it's infinitely long. So now I can sort of imagine. So I, this is just uh, intuitively. I don't know if any of this is right, but you can sort of imagine if I had a snake under those conditions. I don't think there would be any problem. I think a snake could just do snake things for basically forever, right? If I had a dog, I'm t- I tend to think so. If you had a nice farm with rabbits and all the stuff that dogs like, I tend to. And every day was kind of like every other day, but they were all good days. I tend to think the dog would be fine, maybe forever. I, I don't know. You just tell me what you think. But a human in that condition, I'm not at all certain that we could keep ourselves sane over. You know, I could probably keep myself busy for the first ten thousand years. What happens after that? Like a, a billion years or trillion years, it doesn't it doesn't seem likely, right? So, so, so in my head, that's really the problem of aging is is that is that once you meet a goal as a cognitive system, not a me- not a mechanism, but a cognitive system, you need a new challenge or some other kind of challenge. Something needs to change, and something needs to happen. Otherwise, it's going to be degradation. What do you think? Is any of that plausible? What what, what do you think a mind does with, over the long term when everything is, you know, everything's fine? 